All right, folks, welcome back to the channel. Hey, if you're stopping in for the first time, hey, please check out the channel. Subscribe if you like what's going on. We're trying to get that 5,000 subscribers. For you subscribers that are already subscribed, hey, love you folks, love you folks. You guys are doing great, man. I really appreciate all the support I'm getting from, from, from you folks. But onto this video. All right, so we're gonna move on from 2,500. We are gonna talk about the $2,500 build just for a minute, and then we're gonna get into the $5,000 build. That's gonna be where it's at. So stay tuned. Right, folks welcome back to the channel <laughs> you guys plastered me plastered me with the $2,500 bill and one of the main things most of you talked about was the 309 gearing and the biggest reason why I didn't put in the 309 gearing is I took it I, I guess I should have prefaced the $2,500 build with this too is that that's more of making my car fun build vice getting my car ready to go to the track. So again, that was $2,500, just parts, and that's it, right? That's all you had to put into the car. You're gonna put $2,500, and I just wanna make my car fun to drive. So that's why I went with those three mods that I went with. And I know you guys peppered me about the Sprint Booster too, but I'm here to tell you, even with a tune, we cranked it up as far as we could. The Sprint Booster was way better, <laughs> way better. So that's that's kind of why I did what I did and why I didn't go with the 309 gearing because it, it just, from a daily driver fun perspective, it, it really doesn't provide that much. And yep, we all know the tires and the wheels and and all of that but that that all gets super expensive if you're just doing twenty five hundred dollars you're probably staying a daily driver and again that's that's why i went with what i went with so a little defense on my part but let's get to the 5k build folks so you're gonna see some of the same stuff maybe some upgrades but this is gonna be a much better build more in the in lines with uh what you guys were looking for from my $2,500 bill. All right, so let's get right in. I'm gonna roll these windows up because we're gonna be on the highway for a minute. So let's get right into it. First thing, uh, first thing that's gonna be on the top of all of these lists, and you guys nailed it, <laughs> nailed this one, is a tune and a tuner. So, all right, I'm, I'm guesstimating, all right, if you get a used, use t2 again i'm going with the t2 just because of its simplicity of use and it's touch screen uh it's easy to understand doesn't take a lot to figure it out um that's why i went with the t2 yep you can definitely save yourself some money by going with you know one of the earlier diablo sport uh tuners like the the intune 3 uh, I think even someone went back as far as to say a predator, I think. Um, and that's way before my <laughs> that's way before my time. But so you can save your save yourself some money on a tuner if you don't want to go for the updated uh, easy to use T2. So T2 and a tune, I'm guesstimating if you find one used, uh, that's a custom tune, because you're gonna need a custom tune with everything we're doing. Uh, you know, roughly $800, let's just say. Next one was on the last list, and you guys beat me up, <laughs> beat me up for putting a cam on the last list, but we got a cam on this list. This is a, uh, uh, updated cam, provides more performance, gets you the springs, uh, gets you the whole kit. Uh, and again, I'm just using this MMX as an example. Everything I put up here is an example, all right? So 
don't don't go by what what manufacturer or company that I put up there you can go with whoever you want uh, but this is just to give you an idea of what what my thinking my line of thinking uh, so an upgraded cam kit 15 1600 bucks and that gets you you know the springs and all, all the other stuff that comes in that kit so we're looking at about fifteen hundred dollars for that and again that's going to get you that's going to get you more performance starting to go down starting to go down the drag strip uh drag strip build for you guys <laughs> which is where you wanted me to go last time all right what's next all right some new stuff long tube headers it, it, it is a must and you guys beat me up on the $2,500 bill by putting in cam and not putting any uh, any kind of either shorty headers or long tube headers but guess what this build's got them long tube headers folks and again this is just an example if you want to buy new you're gonna go over five thousand dollars if you use my list uh, used you could probably find a good set of long tube headers for six seven hundred bucks so long tubes that's the new guy on the list finally all you guys can, can, cannot get on me this time we put the 309 gears in there all right so this is what they list for new uh, at MMX so hopefully you can dig around find some used uh, I put that roughly around $700 used to get them 309 gears that'll definitely get you uh, get you some help at the track like I said, for a daily driver, I wouldn't worry about the gearing at all. But that's my opinion. My opinion. You guys call me crazy. Call me stupid. <laughs> you guys hit me up in the comments. But for a daily driver, 309 gears are worthless. But now going to this level of build and looking at going to the track, I definitely do defend going to get the 309 gears. The LSD. For sure. Hey, you can go 370, 392. If you want to go for those higher gearing sets, you can go for those sets too. Uh, or lowering gearing sets, whichever way you look at it. Uh, you can go for those sets too. Uh, nothing wrong with those. If you can get them for six, seven hundred bucks, hey, more power to you. All right, so gearing is another one. I'd go for the 309s personally. All right, here we go, folks. For you tire folks that hit me up for tires in the last video, <laughs> we're going wheels and we rear wheels and tires I don't think you're gonna be able to get a set of skinnies uh, at this price so I gave it I gave it pretty generous so you can find some used rims out there and go new tires or you may be able to find some slightly used tires hopefully a little cheap uh, for just the rear setup I went 800 bucks to uh, get you uh, a set of 17 inch rear wheels with whatever tires mickey thompson nittos whatever drag radial uh you want to toss on there i tried to be a little generous uh because you you may have to go find new tires uh to put on so that's why i went with uh with 800 bucks because a set of new drag radials is going to cost probably cost you pretty close to that seven eight hundred bucks and the last one on this list some of you threw this on the twenty five hundred dollar list I think it was a stretch to put it on the $2,500 list, but I'm going to throw it on this one, and that's a 392 intake manifold along with a uh, along with a taser. And I'm fra fairly uh, prudent with this one uh, for about 500 bucks. So the 392 intake is is the best, in my opinion. And there's some there is some uh, dyno results out there to uh, to back me up. 392 intake is one of the best if not the best intake manifold uh, especially when you port it this is not ported you can get it ported too um, but the 392 intake manifold is one of the best if not the best intake manifold to put on your 5.7 yep I said it <laughs> I said it I think it's one of the, I think it's the best but uh, you can take that for what it is so there's the rundown folks um, you know some of the same from the last last video but a lot of new stuff so T2 and a tune cam long tube headers 
309 gearing or one of the lower gearings if you want to take on uh, take on one of those gearings uh, rear drag setup and skinnies if you can get them you know if you can get them cheap um, and then a 392 intake manifold with a taser taser makes it super super simple to put into where the uh, switch between the short and long runners uh, happens so you don't have to go buy that MSD and all that other uh, all the electronic stuff that I had to buy uh, to get the, the long and short runners to work so that's my 5k build I know you you guys are probably gonna beat me up again <laughs> beat me up in the comments again but I think that is a pretty good solid 5k build uh, for four or five seven or a 392 and if you're a 392 uh, I mean you can scrap the intake manifold and get a front set of front skinnies right uh, you know 392 folks you're gonna have to kind of tweak some of this stuff uh, to fit uh, to fit the 392 but you know it is what it is um, but the last video I think that fits for a 392 as well but so that's my again that's my 5k that's it for this one folks if you're stopping in for the first time hey go back check out the channel if you like what's going on do me the, do me these few things like those videos that you watch subscribe smash the bell shoot me a comment and all of y'all can do that right like comment and uh, share definitely share it on your social media whether it's Facebook TikTok, Twitter um, I'm sure there's some other other social media stuff out there please go ahead share this share it out there get the word out shake and bakes doing her thing uh, we're, we're consistently running them tens now and uh, you know we're gonna do bigger and better things for sure uh, coming up real soon so till next time folks adios